All right, let's roll right along here tonight. It is past 2 o'clock in the morning with Mr. DJ here. Uh, the date is October 15, 2013. Sonny Bono has only hit as a solo artist, big hit as a solo artist, Laugh at Me at number 26 on Billboard's Hot 100. It's almost a self-deprecating look at himself. Uh, the week of October 15th, uh, October 16th, 1965, Sonny Bono's Laugh at Me went to number one in Canada. And the song that replaced it at the top spot in Canada, Baby Don't Go by Sonny and Cher. I'm telling you, they were on a roll back in 1965. This song was written and produced by Sonny Bono, and it what spurred this record, what spurred him to write this record was he was refused entrance. entrance. Well, there was a restaurant in Hollywood that would not let him in because of his hippie attire. Dude, just get out of here with that long hair and that flowered shirt. Man, what what is that, man? Just just go. Oh boy, if it was here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, down here now, oh gosh. It would be hell to pay down here. Even if you wore your hair just a little bit over your ears. That was enough to get you run out of town by the highway patrol. I mean, Actually, I'm not really exaggerating that much. Uh, babe, uh, let's see, I've already talked about the uh, inspiration behind uh, Laugh at Me by Sonny Bono. Guess who remade this song? The Beach Boys did. The Beach Boys, they put this song, well, it was an outtake on uh, the album Beach Boys Party. At the Beach Boys Party album, that was basically an album of remakes. Uh, Barbara Ann was on that album. But you won't guess who else did this record. Did a remake of Laugh at Me. Mott the Hoople. A hard rock band. I mean, you wouldn't think a hard rock band would cover a song like this. I mean, it'd be maybe a little bit too cheesy. But uh, Mott the Hoople, they covered this song on their first album, their debut album in 1969. And uh, actually, Sonny Bono, he does rise to almost, well, close to Bob Dylan's heights when he recorded this record. His sound, almost quite similar to Bob Dylan. And it didn't hurt to sound like Bob Dylan in the fall of 1965, as he had a couple of hit records that year. Two or three hit records, Bob Dylan. Done. That's it for this song. It peaked at number 10. And damn that this thing is so obscure, you'd think it peaked at number 100. Nobody ever plays it. I don't think I've even heard this on 60s on 6, XM 60s on 6. I want to read you a quote real quick. Let me get to this quote. This was by Darlene Love. Darlene Love. This is what she said about Sonny, bon bon Sonny Bono. Or she wrote this about Sonny Bono. Here's her quote. Darlene Love. Say what you will about Sonny, but without him, Cher wouldn't have had a career. Quote, unquote. Well, nobody's laughing now. Sonny Bono on Billboard's Hot 100 back in the fall of 1965.